Hello and welcome to today's video. We've got some incredible mods lined up for Cyberpunk 2077 that will absolutely transform your experience in Night City. From immersive vehicle mods to unique photo spots and new ways to earn eddies. These mods have something for everyone. So whether you're cruising through the city or looking to capture the perfect in-game shot, you won't want to miss these. Let's dive into the best mods of this week. First up, we've got Night City Salvage, Scrap Vehicles for Eddies. This mod introduces a cool new mechanic where you can scrap old or unwanted vehicles at specific scrap yards across Night City and the Badlands. It's a great way to earn some extra eddies while adding an immersive layer to gameplay. Any vehicles you find laying around going to waste can be turned into money. The three scrapyard locations are Kabuki Shipyard Wreckage near Kabuki Shipyard in the heart of Night City, the Landfill Scrapyard in the Badlands, and Yaka Garage and Salvage beyond the Lockdown border. You'll also have map markers for each yard when you install the mod. Yes, they are generic gig icons for now, but it is still relatively easy to find them. Moving on. Next up is Dynamic Graffiti. If you're tired of seeing the same graffiti everywhere, this mod changes things up by randomizing graffiti colors each time you load the game. It's surprisingly refreshing and actually adds a nice touch to the night city. The city streets feel a little different every time you step out into the neon lit chaos. It may not seem like a massive change, but it's the little things like this that count, especially in a world as detailed as Cyberpunk 2077's. This mod keeps the city feeling dynamic and alive, perfect for anyone who loves that extra layer of immersion. Moving on, we have the Better Children mod. Cyberpunk's filled with interesting characters, but the children, well, let's just say they are ugly. <laughs> Let, um, let's just say they've looked a bit off. This mod steps in to fix that, reshaping the children's faces to make them look more natural and less like tiny adults. It's a subtle but noticeable improvement that makes the world feel more authentic and less uncanny. You'll notice the difference when you're walking around the residential areas or markets where children are present. It's one of those changes that once you've seen the other side, you just can't go back. And it helps to create a more believable world. Now, let's get into something for all the virtual photography lovers out there. The Mystery Spot Locations Volumes 1 and 2. These mods add over 100 unique locations across Night City. Well, really just teleports, add the ability for you to teleport to all these hidden locations. For the most part, you know what I mean? All perfect for capturing stunning in-game shots. If you're into virtual photography or just love exploring the city, these locations will give you plenty of inspiration, from hidden alleyways to rooftop vistas. These spots are designed to spark creativity and help you take your screenshots to the next level. Even if photography isn't your thing, some of these spots are just fun to explore. And some are just so well hidden that it feels like you've discovered a secret part of the game. After finding those mystery spots, you'll definitely want to pair them with some good pose packs, starting with the Everything Pose Pack mod. There are a bunch of other great pose packs out there, and I'll list a few in the description below, from PMU Zero Custom Poses to the Boudoir Set, PMU Zui Custom Poses, Fashion set and the PMU setting poses for FemV. These packs give you incredible flexibility and are an absolute game changer for virtual photography lovers. And don't worry, if you want more, there are tons of other pose packs on the Nexus mod page for both male and female V. Next up, we've got a little fun mod, Beep Beep MF. It's a simple but adds a hilarious touch to your vehicles. Introducing our favorite Beep Beep from that one awesome side mission. It's one of those mods that's purely for fun but makes every drive through the city that little bit more entertaining. I found myself just honking the horn just because I can, and it, you know, it's really cool. Beep, beep, and sometimes that's exactly what you need to break up the intense moments in Cyberpunk. Give it a try, you will not regret it. Now let's turn our attention to the vehicles that will redefine how you get around Night City. Whether you're into high-speed supercars, vintage muscle cars, or powerful bikes, these mods offer something special for everybody. Each one brings unique flair from sleek designs to enhanced performance. So let's dive in and check out the ones that made the list this week. First on our lineup is the BMW M1000RR, a superbike that brings speed, agility, and style all in one package. Perfect for dodging traffic or speeding through the badlands. The bike is sleek, fast, and feels pretty amazing to ride, making it a great addition for those who prefer two wheels over four. Not to mention, the real-world counterpart is a beast on the roads, and this mod captures that energy pretty well. All right, now for all the classic car lovers out there, the 1966 Ford Mustang GT. This mod adds a legendary car to Cyberpunk. Its vintage charm stands out against the futuristic backdrop of Night City, and it's perfect for cruising or getting involved in a high-speed chases. Plus, there's just something undeniably cool about driving a Mustang through this dystopian city. If you're into that retro futuristic vibe, this car is definitely for you. If you're more into futuristic supercars, then the Lamborghini Tamario is for you. With its sleek, cutting-edge design and lightning-fast speed, this car feels like it was made for the high 
high octane streets of Night City, perfect for showing off and tearing through the highways at breakneck speeds. And trust me, if you want to leave your enemies in the dust, this is the car to do it. Finally, we have the Mitsubishi EVO X or the Roman numeral for it. This car is all about performance and it handles beautifully whether you're drifting through tight city corners or speeding down the open road. It's a perfect mod for players who love precision driving and want to add a legendary car to their garage. The modding community has really nailed the handling of this one. It feels responsive, smooth, and a blast to drive. The other one, the Lamborghini, I'm pretty sure that was the one I hated to drive. I'm just saying that now. But yeah, it looks really cool. And it's nice. Now, lastly, but certainly not least, the auto drive mod. This one lets you sit back and relax as your car drives itself through Night City. Whether you're just exploring or want to get from point A to B without lifting a finger, this mod adds an extra layer of convenience. You can even hop into the passenger seat and just admire the city as your car navigates through the neon lit streets. Side note, it is a rough driver and sometimes decides to just crash into people. But that aside, that little little bug aside, it's actually a really nice mod. And I found myself just viewing through my passenger window, just looking at the, you know, outside. It was really, like, relaxing. And I actually quite like that. Because those missions where you're being driven around, I just admired the city. It was just cool. But yeah, this mod allows you to do that whenever. All you do have to do, though, is just, so when you get in the car, put a map marker down anywhere. And then when you're out of the car, you push V and it will allow, it will just drive to it. It's pretty cool. But yeah, you can even hop in the passenger seat and just admire the city as your car navigates through the neon lit streets. To do that though, you will need to download the optional file from the mod page. But trust me, that is the best part about the mod, that optional file. It's almost like having your own personal chauffeur. And in a world as advanced as Cyberpunk 2077, self-driving self cars are an absolute must have for those extra futuristic vibes. But there you have it, from scrapping cars for eddies to exploring the most stunning photo spots in Night City, these mods have you covered. Be sure to check the description for all the download links and let me know in the comments which mods you're excited to try out. I love hearing about which mods the community is enjoying, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon thingy for more cyberpunk modding content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy modding, and pfft, get out of here, you know? <laughs> also, let me know any other video ideas you would like. Like, I'm thinking I could do an another, another, another immersive mod video. Or something like for the virtual photographers, a virtual photography mod video. I've not been doing much virtual photography myself recently, but I was pretty into it not too long ago. Like, I assume for the most part, most people who do virtual photography would already have a lot of the mods, but I can still give it a go. There is so many pose mods. There's a better camera mode. There is so much in the virtual photography for Cyberpunk. It's one of the best games to do virtual photography, I would say. One of, of course, there's so many, but like, you know, any other ideas or what next I could do, I can continue doing best, best of the week, another best month video, immersive. I could jump back to best car mods perhaps best weapon mods, maybe even best clothing mods. So let me know. Let me know if you have any thoughts because I will check that out. I'm pretty sure I've got how to mod covered. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Let me know. And I will see your comments down below. But yeah, have a good day. Have a good day. Bye-bye.